so I cut hair for uh, for my day job, but I, I also been playing music my whole life. And uh, Larry, for like the past 20 years, has been coming into my shop and jamming just like this. And um, a lot of my background is from Mediterranean music, and I met these guys one by one, and I shared my Mediterranean experience with uh, a bunch of really talented artists that come from all over, actually. So we have uh, Slavic influence, we have jazz influence, we have soul influence, Mediterranean, and a twist of the Italiano, yeah? But, uh, anyways, so uh, Beautiful was a, sh a song that Mike and I did actually on a TV show right here in the spot that we're playing, and it was called the uh, Steve Katzo Show. So it's fun for us to be here tonight. But um, mostly, I would say Beautiful was about you're doing your daily groove in life. You walk the same path, you walk the same bus, you go to the same bus stop, you walk the same sidewalk, and there can maybe always be someone there that you wanted to talk to, and you have your headset on and, and you just like, but you don't. Beautiful was kind of the lyrics were inspired by that. We said it like, just kind of picture someone hanging, walking in the same path for a long time and they never talk to that person, but they kind of go in their way and they just, they know they're beautiful and it's uh, you'll you'll get it when we play. But there you go. That's a little backdrop. Thanks, Larry. But um, all right.
Angela. that we did called Karaguna. It's a rhythm that I, I, um, that I chose from Northern Greece. You know, most of my rhythm stuff came from my dad teaching us these Greek rhythms. So like I took this Mediterranean rhythms and I really love like obviously the blues and things like that growing up here. So this one's a combination really of like our world sound, but we really like took this groove in. We all put our personalities in it. It's called, the tune is called Karaguna.
Uh, I'm going to continue the story about the barber shop because that's where it started. The shop. <laughs> the shop, yeah, because the shop. Anthony's a very gracious person, and uh, at night he's playing music and lets lots of people uh, who walk him by, curious, invites them in. Uh, he talks around the neighborhood a lot. Uh, he's talking to me the first time I got a haircut there, probably over a year ago, <laughs> as you could tell. And uh, um, he, uh, we started talking music, and he goes, oh, you got to come by the shop, got to come by the shop. And so he and I started playing just acoustic, uh, just the bazooki and the bass for a long time, like six months or something, actually before we even, before Allie walked into yeah. the shop. Yeah. And, Al, and and Anthony kept saying, we gotta get the groove, we gotta get the groove, we don't have to get a drummer, we don't have to do anything till we get the groove. And once we got the groove, we got the drummer. And he was thinking of you, Mike. And, uh, and But he said, let's just get it together first. So we did that, and then one day he was, I guess at the, uh, what do you call it, the falafel store down the street, yeah. and he bumps in, <laughs> Yeah, at Fatushin, and he bumps into Allie, talking probably music again. And the next thing we know, she's a Berkeley student, yeah. and she's into music production, but she can sing. And she yeah. came and sang yeah. and just well, like, blew us away. We decided to do an album together a while back. It just happened. And, and um, of course, like Allie is, is um, we, we all love her so much. She's been such a big big part of all this so Ken and I but be, between everybody Bill, Allie, Larry, Mike and all of us we we went in the studio and recorded an album that we call Saklamara that's the name of our band Saklamara well, um, and then in the, uh, live at the den yeah we were with our buddy Doug in North Reading at a studio called uh, the den studio uh, it was a magical experience that we all experienced in Bill's wonderful guitar playing but also wonderful girlfriend made a nice candlelit dinner for us that day. We had a blast. And, uh, but so like going forward from here, like those were all songs from that album. And, um, and you know, as far as like, you know, Ken and I, we, we, we were talking about how we, we brought this like really high pitched instrument. Um, traditionally it is paired up with a upright bass in a music called, uh, you know, Rebetica, and Greek music has many styles. But, like, anyways, this is really has been just a collaboration. So thank you, uh, Studio Sessions, for having us because um, we're, we're enjoying it. And we're, we're going to play. Yeah, we got our studio. We got our little studio audience here. Uh, thank you, guys. That makes it fun. But we're, we're going to play a couple of more tunes, you know. We're going we're gonna to do that. But um, thank you for uh, having us, Jeff. And... Um, uh, we'll keep the tape rolling and we'll go into uh, Heavy G and uh, thank you uh, for the lighting crew and the crew uh, that so showed much. up today uh, for this. This has, been, this has been fun, but like I said, we're going we're gonna to rock out on a couple more tunes, but um, Ken, you're going to close this up, this, this conversation. Yeah, because I took it from you, so like I want to hand it back to you. I think, again, very gracious, Anthony. You're a good speaker. So uh, <laughs> anyway, He's almost ready. We're almost ready to begin. But uh, this has been a real journey. I got to say, what I know is really true. We're all good friends. We really respect each other as musicians. We're trying to find the center of the music. When we get there, it's a place we all love. And that's what keeps us going. Well said. <laughs>
guys, I know on behalf of the band I'm going to speak. Uh, Bill, Larry, Mike, Allie, thanks. Ken, thanks. we had a good time. Um, we are Saklamara. Hey, uh, Larry, you want to give us that old soul beat? Um, doom, 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 doom. We're in an Allington studio. Jeff and I and Katie, the director today, we all worked on the Steve Katzo show. And here we are closing out studio sessions to a tune that I wrote on Monotomy Rocks Park Pond. This old lady and everybody this time of year keeps walking around and she kept, she kept looking at me. I had to do that. But she kept looking at me in a way where she just looked like she had something to say in a, in a kind of a wisdom kind of way. And I was just sitting there and she kept going around and she kept saying hi to me when she you know, kept coming back around to me. And, and um, it was one of those days where like stuff starting to grow at springtime and, uh, and that's what uh, Old Soul inspired. And of course, Saklamara put their art on top of this. So.
thank you guys. Yeah. Thank you. That was great. That was really great. Thank you. Um, thank you. Wow, Jeff, here you are. Studio sessions. Welcome. The band is amazing. Tony, you're very familiar with the space. We're glad to have you back. Oh, thank you so much. In the studio. Much. Mike, too. Great, great to see you guys. It's a tough genre to, to, to find. The eclectic music that you guys are playing is really fun. And we got to hear a little bit about the background of how you guys came together and who's you know, kind of pulling in the, uh, these world-class musicians. It is amazing to hear all of these instruments together. Oh, well, thank you, yeah. And uh, do you guys rehearse in the barbershop? That's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do, but we like to have we like to have like we we like to have like a couple of tequilas and hang out and play music and too and we're friends too. So like we don't just rehearse; we actually hang out and have fun too. But uh, yes, of course, the barbershop lights go down and it becomes it's been a rehearsal space for like 28 years. You know, that's wonderful. Uh, stuff. We're constantly making stuff up yeah. as we're rehearsing, just new stuff. We'll just mm. all of a sudden do something new. So we we're sort of growing out ahead of ourselves. It's really fun. It's, yeah, it's, it's a blast. It's, it's, it's nice to play original music and yeah. be creative with the people while and have that experience. It's different than just a regular GB gig. Like so, like for us, uh, we've been having fun being creative. But the, you know, it's not so much a conversation. The conversation is in the music. You know? Wonderful. Can you introduce the band? Yeah. Um, uh, so again, Ali uh, ended up we meeting next door. You know, uh, Ali um, Aliona Sorakina. Um, but, um, man, she has contributed in a big way. Say a quick hello. Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> That's all I can say in English. <laughs> that Wonderful is not voice. true, by the way. <laughs> um, no, Ali, you've been, like, such a joy for all of us to have uh, be around. Your energy is a gift, and I feel, like, really blessed to be playing with you. I think we all feel the same way. I'm going to say, Mike, can you say a quick hi? Hi, everybody. Okay. Oh, he's got overheads. Yeah. Mikey is is by far the most solid beat you're gonna hear. Thank you very much. Man. All right, Mike. There's never a day where he doesn't like deliver that that solid rhythm, man. It's just the groove is awesome. And um, we're again just as blessed to have Mike. Allie. Yeah. When we introduce you to this guy. It's like my soulmate. <laughs> <laughs> Um, when they get going and start singing and stuff to, uh, um, no, we just understand each other on the stage where we'll. We do. Yeah. You know, when you guys get going and start singing together and playing together and connecting, like, like Ken says, when we get to that place, I always enjoy that with you guys. Well, All right, I don't know Larry, say, a few words here. Just, uh, it's great to be here. It's great to be playing with everybody here. It's great to see you all here. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That's so, uh, it. Who's this guy? Anything else you wanted to say before we give it to the guy behind you over there? Um, this guy, man, Ken and, and Bill are friends, and uh, Ken really wanted me to meet Bill for a long time, and I'm uh, so glad we did. Uh, he's just he's a mega talent jobs. and a wealth of knowledge and uh, an awesome groover. He can groove, he can play lead, uh, he can play rhythm, he can do something you've never heard before anybody ever do. Uh, just awesome. Go ahead, Bill. You gotta say something. Hey, I often do stuff I've never heard before. <laughs> Now, it's a really, it's a fun band to play with, and I was doing a session with Ken, and he talked me into coming down and playing with the Greek guy. You gotta hear this guy. <laughs> I'm just grabbing a tiger by the tail most of the time and trying to find a place to fit in, but it's been a lot of fun. Now. And that, that actually is the gift that he has to offer, that he can do that. Absolutely. Well, we're gonna wrap it up here for studio sessions. I wanna thank Sakamara for being here. And it's been, it's been a treat for the cast and crew. Everybody, thank you very much for being here. And uh, I don't do this. I don't ever step on this side of the, the camera, but you know, Anthony asked me to, so, so here I am. I really appreciate it, Jeff. All right. So, studio sessions, thank you guys. And uh, that's a wrap. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.